Just want to be with you. Yes, the 
we could just lift our voice right now. I wonder if I could just let the musicians stop. And I wonder if we could just, with our voice, worship the King of glory. Can you just lift your voice right now? Oh God, we worship you in this place today. I feel you near and close. Jesus, oh my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, yes, yes, let that praise go up right now, let that worship go up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel in my spirit that God wants to do something special today. I feel it. I feel it. He is stirring. I know we, we have a lot of hurt and pain in our in our service today, I feel that as well. But I know that He is near to the brokenhearted. It's what His Word tells us. He's drawn to that. And I feel strongly that God's desire is to do something. You know what I, I think is, is probably one of my most favorite things about our God is He doesn't shy away from the messiness of our life. He doesn't. I mean, that... That is the Christmas story, that the King of kings and the Lord of lords, He came down to the brokenness of our world. I mean, I, I could just say amen, and you heard a good message right there, that, that he, he didn't, He came, He's seen 
the broken and the dysfunction and the hurt and the pain and the loss and the death and the sick. He's seen all that and said, I'll still come. Not just come, but I'll come and experience the hurt and the loss and the pain and the sickness. I'll walk through it with you so that I can identify with you how wonderful and amazing our God is. He doesn't leave us to ourselves, but He's like, I'm right here at the mention of my name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for worship. And you can return to your seats. If you remain standing, I'll quickly read from the Word of God. The prophet Isaiah, as he was being moved on by the Holy Spirit in chapter 9, verse 1, says, Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be 